How's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and I've got a really, really, really impressive gameplay for you guys today. This is going to be a double chem strike on the map Siege. Now Siege is not a very good map, but it's not a terrible map, but this gameplay, it's not mine. It's my good buddy Swag XBLs. His link will be, of course, in the description below. Great guy, great player, really funny guy too, fun guy to play Call of Duty with, but this is going to be a really nice double chem strike, like I said already. Now only three or four people actually have a double chem strike you can see that I sped up the gameplay in the beginning just so you could show it when he gets on a special streak now specialist in this game I find that it's actually not too overpowered but also not like too really really bad or anything it's definitely a great way of getting a lot of chem strikes great way of actually getting a lot of kills you know specialist when I upload like a, a 90 kill specialist game like I did a few days ago that was entertaining because they're all gun kills it's fun to watch it's just overall I think it's a good time you know when you're watching a specialist gameplay but the honey badger that he's using in this gameplay this gun is a a really really solid gun now I use the honey badger quite a bit you know it's not my favorite gun that I've ever seen in Call of Duty but it's also not like a terrible gun or anything it's more of a I'd say it's on the top 20% guns I ever made in Call of Duty it's a good gun deals out really good damage has a pretty big magazine when you put extended mags on it in this gameplay I don't think he had extended mags on it but either way guys it comes pre silence which is definitely a huge advantage because we all know staying off the radar especially with a silencer is really really easy to do just by uh, just by killing people and applying the silencer now having a silencer pre-applied gives you more opportunities to have more attachments on your guns which having more attachments on your guns it, re it really can make the difference you know having that red dot sight that can improve your aim having those extra 15 bolts in your magazine that can really improve your overall like if you see three people in front of you you don't have a fully loaded magazine but let's say you you have like 37 bullets because you have extended mags on versus like 15 or something like that that, that that's just a complete and huge advantage that way you guys can kill all three people instead of killing one and getting like half hit markers on both so either way guys like I said the honey badger is a really good gun and the way he got this chem striker way he got both these chem strikes is domination is clearly the game mode to do it in guys when you do it in domination there's really you know it, it gives you a long time to do it but if you were to try this in like team deathmatch right there he picks up the first chem strike again I fast forward until the first uh, the, uh, the first set of specialists but you know when he actually plays in domination the games last a little bit longer you can basically tell where most of the enemies are coming from so I would suggest guys if you want to go for a lot of chem strikes after I'm giving you guys all these tips definitely try out domination now, I'm not saying you can't get it in a game mode like cranked I just usually play cranked just for leveling up because I'm going really hard at leveling up right now guys I would say cranked is definitely the best game mode for leveling up but that's not really what we're talking about right now but either way guys I do think that domination is a really good game mode you know it doesn't give you the most XP in the world but by the time I'm doing this commentary it is double XP weekend which is definitely something that you guys should be taking advantage of right now double XP in Call of Duty Ghosts I'm not really sure how often we're gonna be seeing this so I definitely say like I said earlier take advantage of it go out and play some Call of Duty Ghosts with a few buddies and the next thing that you don't see him doing quite too often in this gameplay, which I think is a really a really smart way of getting lots of KM strikes, is don't run around. You know, you can run around. You know, you can go around different parts of the map, but he's not completely just running around in the middle like you could back in Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3. You know, you can't just run around in the middle and just run and gun and kill everyone because you die so freaking fast in this game. It's completely insane, guys. But either way, that also means you kill pretty fast. So being able to play like not super super aggressive, that 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 definitely I think it, that gives you the, really the the overall advantage maybe even post up at a head glitch sometimes a head glitch you know a head glitch can really save you when you're in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight maybe even like a one-on-three gunfight either way guys I'd say don't run around you know still still stay in a certain place but you know you could still run around I'm not I'm not preventing you guys or anything like I said earlier siege is a decent map I don't really like it too much but I, I'm not really against it or anything like that it's a good map it's a solid map you know it's got some really nice bright colors it's got a lot of rubble and I what I've noticed in cod ghost is a lot of the maps you know they don't really have like a set flow to them they just kind of they just kind of spawn everywhere. There are a bunch of rubble everywhere. I, I, I don't know. They're not the best maps Call of Duty's ever made, but I really hope that the DLC pulls through. I hope the DLC in COD Ghost is really going to have some nice smaller maps because most of the maps in COD Ghost, they're so big and they're so hard to play. I think the most of them are made for 9v9 and 9v9 on the new consoles. That's going to be a lot of fun, but make sure to subscribe to Swag in the description below. Also, subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. Right there, he picks up the second chem strike, but like I said, if you guys haven't subscribed to me, make sure to do so right now, guys. I upload every single day. 
even multiple videos a day like today but also make sure to drop shot that like button down below if you guys haven't already drop shotting that like button that can help this video get a lot more exposure because I do put a lot a lot of effort into these videos also my social media links are all going to be in the description below guys I'm really active on Twitter Facebook Instagram I'm about to start a live stream on Twitch so go ahead my link is in the description down below for there so it's been quantum FT and I'll be seeing you guys in the next Call of Duty Ghost video.